because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Coon Cassius for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. It's fight week here at Wembley. Uh, I'm joined by the WBA bantamweight champion, Nina Hughes. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? All good. Just had a... Well, we had a Nando's and you had to, like, kind of watch everyone eat Nando's. <laughs> the joys of fight week. <laughs> yeah. All right, you had your little chicken and whatever it was, broccoli there. Had the Nando's plate, though, didn't you? Yeah. yeah joined in, still it. <laughs> Must be torture. I know, like it happens and that, but really, I weren't really aware that that was what was going on. <laughs> Your team made that decision to go there. Yeah, I did say to them they should be eating lettuce with me, but <laughs> they upped it for their nose. <laughs> Life of a fighter. Um, yeah, uh, four days out, roughly. It's obviously, Wednesday of fight week. Um, had to kind of adapt to obviously the last two or three weeks as. Katie Healy comes in as your opponent uh, to replace Shannon Courtney. So, Katie Healy undefeated uh, in her six fights so far as a professional. What have you seen of her? Yeah, we've watched um, a few of her fights online. Um, yeah, she's a tall, rangy boxer, um, former kickboxer. I think she's, she was a former world, world champion kickboxer. So, she's got the experience in the kickboxing. And yeah, I think it'll be a good fight, undefeated. So. I mean, it's always kind of these kind of situations where you know arguably the fight on the card was the fight with you and Shannon and obviously that no that's a fight that um, you definitely you wanted and now whoever it was it was never going to be the same yeah. if that makes sense yeah definitely at the end though the Shannon fight was a big fight it was a fight that created a lot of interest and everyone seemed to want to see it so yeah it was obviously disappointing but it is what it is boxing people pull out all the time so I just have to move on um, I know you've kind of already spoken a couple of times about this kind of when this first was announced your Instagram post on the situation was very strong but what is your kind of assessment I know it's kind of in the past now and we're looking yeah. forward to kind of Saturday but just to kind of draw a line under this what is your assessment of Shannon Courtney not being available obviously to take part this week? I've heard a lot of things, but yeah, I think she was overweight. I don't think her heart's in it. I don't think she's trained properly. Um, yeah, I just I think it got close, and she realised that she had a hard task ahead of her, and she want she wasn't hundred percent. So that's why I think she pulled out. And she was seen in Marbella two days after she pulled out. So <laughs> partying with a bad knee, apparently. <laughs> I mean, this is what the second time that this fight was supposed to have happened. Um, so is this kind of drawn a little cross under the whole uh, Hughes and Courtney saga? We're not going to get to see it. Is that probably fair to say? Yeah, I think so. Because at the end of the day, like you get one voluntary and she was my voluntary. Now Katie, he is. So we move on. We've got to beat Katie, really do the job on Saturday night and then look to bigger things. Now, obviously for yourself, um, it's been a wonderful year over the last what, 12 months, uh, becoming world champion. Um, signing with Matchroom, uh, things at the ripe old age of 40, and I'm 40 as well, when you're living it, um, yeah, things are very good for you at the moment. Yeah, they're really good, so yeah, we move on, um, don't feel my age, <laughs> as everyone gets, but yeah, no, I feel good, and until, until I stop feeling good, we're going to keep going on. <laughs> I mean, like I said, this has all happened for you within a very short space of time in terms of kind of how many fights you've had. And we know in women's boxing, things can progress quicker than, let's say, men's boxing. But, yeah, you've kind of grasped the opportunity uh, when they've come to you. And now it's all about kind of moving forward and seeing what else Nina Hughes can do. Yeah, definitely. I mean, my goal was to be a world champion and I've achieved that now. So now I've set my goals even higher and I want to unify. So I've just got to see what I can achieve. Now, I know obviously your focus on Saturday, um, you're going to get a few questions this week, but um, probably prior to the fight, but more so relevant after the fight. But, you know, things go well for you this Saturday. Um, Ebony Bridges, is that a possibility? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, I can't take my focus on Saturday, but when you do look to the future, 
Ebony Bridges is going to fight next. She's got a belt. She's with Matchroom. She's based in the UK. It's the easiest fight to make out the other belt holders. Is this a conversation your team has had with Eddie Hearn, potentially? Yeah, yeah. yeah I think so, because he, he said earlier um, when me and Shannon was boxing that the winner gets to fight Ebony, so hopefully she has a voluntary and then we can make that happen. Right, well, I won't press that too much again because uh, we know, obviously, you're focused on Katie Healy this week, but are you expecting a difficult fight this week? Yeah, I think this is actually a tougher fight than um, the Shannon Courtney fight, um, but she's just unknown, so... Um, yeah, she's tall, she's, she looks like she's a good boxer, so yeah, it'll, it's a tough fight, but one I'm going to get through. Um, I said, this whole year, and like I said, you're kind of on uh, one of the main fights, still on uh, the zone this week at Wembley Arena, it's just, uh, yeah, things are, are looking very good for you at the moment. Yeah, I'm excited, obviously, first time boxing on a big stage, um, <coughs> on a matchroom card, all the others have been in small hall shows and in the world title in Dubai. So, yeah, I'm excited about it, all the whole experience. It's the world title in Dubai, yeah. <laughs> no, do you know what, mate? That is an amazing experience, and the venue is amazing, but it was still a small crowd, so this is boxing in front of a big crowd. It's obviously different. Absolutely. All right, well, listen, we can talk about what's potentially next for you um, after your fight on Saturday night. Have you got anything else you'd like to say or thank any of your sponsors? Just want to thank all my sponsors for all their support and everyone that supported me along the way. Cheers. Thank you very much, Nina Hughes, and we'll catch up with you after your fight on Saturday. Thank you. Because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. And it must have been about 17, 16, 17, when it their guilt wins. Right, the bounce is guilty. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 